so guys what's going on i hope you guys are well i hope you guys are staying safe i hope everything's good wherever you are guys make sure to smash the like button on this video hit the subscribe button I share the video of course smash that like button it really helps the algorithm of the of the channel so i really appreciate when you guys smash the like button um guys i want to talk about an issue that teddy atlas brought up regarding the canelo and uh, bivol fight he said that bivol almost lost the fight bivol almost got robbed by the judges and this is what teddy atlas had to say the old saying in boxing that when you fight the superstar you have to win every round and you pray you get the split decision that almost happened the other night in the dimitri bivol canelo fight i can't see canelo winning winning more than three rounds i think you can say i think you can say two rounds but to have it two point fight are you serious atlas continue narrow um his thoughts uh, and then what does he go on to say uh, if you look at these absurdity of these rounds it, it's absurd he didn't win he didn't win let me just move it on oh sorry let me just leave it there uh he didn't win a round bivol in the first four rounds are you kidding me later when you had it 4-4 what's the next move you put your guy canelo ahead you give him the ninth to break the break up the by giving it Canelo, you got the other guy ahead. You know what? He kept the guy in a fight that wasn't close. You did your freaking job, your dishonest job. Wow, Teddy Atlas is ripping in here. Okay, let me just move this. Um, you got your guy Canelo ahead going into the championship rounds. Do you think that's a coincidence? I don't. He's, he's, here's the thing, that went astray, that went haywire with the plan. Now it's up to your guy, Canelo, the golden goose. It's up to him to do his part and bring it home. Canelo couldn't bring it home. If you do anything more here where you acknowledge it's not a close fight and that's the key you keep in your head, it shouldn't be close this late, honestly, but they did their job. They kept an unclosed fight, close down the stretch. Now they got it close, it's up to Canelo to bring it home because they gave him the lead, even though he didn't earn it. And guess what? He couldn't get it home. Wow, Atlas is going in. And then he goes... Okay, then he goes... Bivol won the rounds too clear. Here's the key. They already gave him Canelo too many rounds that he shouldn't have got. So under these circumstances, they could have given him these rounds, not 10, 11, 12. He didn't earn them. They couldn't. He didn't. He had to earn them and he didn't earn them. Bivol went out there and won the fight. And if Bivol didn't win the fight by really bouncing this guy's head around in the rounds that he did, as big as he did, he don't get it. It's not fair. Oh, you got to win it by enough. You should be able to win. In boxing, for some reason, people say if you're the champ, or in this case, you're the golden goose, you've got to really beat the guy. Okay, that's not fair. You should be able to win, but he, Bivol, beat the guy. He really beat the guy. And it was, it, it was close to that old saying where you win every round and hope for a split decision. Maybe three rounds, or if you go, if you want to go crazy, maybe four. So maybe three rounds to Canelo, but my God, they were ready to rob this kid and didn't let, and he didn't let them. They didn't suddenly get a coincidence. He just did not let them rob, rob him. Wow. So Teddy Atlas goes in there. Uh, I'm just moving the camera around. Um, yeah, I had the I had the article up there. So, yeah, so Teddy Atlas is basically saying that you know they were ready to rob him, they were ready ready to rip, um, Bivol off, and you'd have to agree in the sense that the fight wasn't very close. Let's be brutally honest, the fight wasn't close. It wasn't a close match. It wasn't a close fight. Uh, Canelo was soundly beaten. I think nine three. Some people had it ten two eight four. I think it was pretty. A one-sided fight in the sense that, you know, I don't think you can make a case for Canelo winning that fight. But the fact that they had the fight one round, you know, 
Teddy Atlas has got a point. Now, Teddy Atlas is seen as somebody that doesn't isn't the biggest Canelo fan. He said these things in the past. He it seems to me he doesn't think Canelo from. I don't think he thinks Canelo's as good as what he gets made out to be. Uh, Teddy Atlas is 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 critical of Canelo quite a bit. Maybe he feels that he has a red carpet underneath him, and I think Teddy Atlas has always been critical of. Like, he's been critical of Mayweather as well. You know, saying that he he's a great manager. He knows how to pick and choose his fights. Um, so Teddy Atlas, I don't think there's any <laughs> bias in the sense. I just think he he has his favorite fighters. Like this is a guy that was a, a massive Lomachenko fan. You know, a massive Crawford fan. But then I, lately I've seen him criticize Crawford as well, where he said, well, Bob Iron made him earn, you know, got Crawford a lot of money or paid him a lot of money for really not really fighting much stiff competition. Um, and Teddy Atlas was a big Lomachenko fan. I, I think his, I think his uh, fanboyism of, of Lomachenko was a bit over the top. I, I don't think Lomachenko was as as good as what he thought, you know, but Atlas had his opinion. Uh, and he's still a massive fan of Lomachenko, who I think is a good fighter, don't get me wrong, but I, I, I think, I, I think he was, I think he, I think with Lomachenko, when he said that, you know, he's above Crawford and uh, Andre Ward pound for pound, I, I didn't agree with that at the time. Uh, maybe Crawford, because Crawford's resume was pretty thin, but Andre Ward at the time, no, no chance. He's not better than him. But that was because Teddy Atlas liked his style or liked his particular way. Um, but Teddy Atlas has never been a huge fan of Canelo, in my opinion. Uh, from the, the comments that he's made in the past, he's never been a huge fan. Uh, and he has mentioned that Canelo does get gifted, get favourable decisions. Now... I thought Canelo lost the first Golovkin fight. We had a debate about the Lara fight, and a lot of people thought that Canelo lost the Lara fight. I don't think that was a robbery. I think that was a close fight that probably, you know, could have been very close, but I think Canelo probably nicked it. Now, some people, like Stephen, said it was a robbery. Uh, I just don't see how you can call the fight a robbery, to be brutally honest with you. I don't think Lara did enough. I don't think Lara's performance was like Bivol to do enough in order to get the decision. Lara was just tickling him here and there. He, he, that's not winning fights. You've got to be decisive. Uh, and Bivol was was un unbelievable. Bivol outclassed Canelo. Uh, that was a conclusive victory. I don't think anyone would argue with that. That was a one-sided fight, Canelo and Bivol. Um, and Bivol won quite easily by a landslide. These type of decisions, if 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 for me, if they if they hadn't given the decision to Bivol. I think Canelo's credibility would have been through the through the through the floor. I think people would have just said there's no point of even fighting Canelo. I, I literally think it would have gone to that stage where people would have said there's no point of even fighting Canelo because you know he's going to win unless you knock him out. You're not going to beat him. I literally think that would have been the scenario. I think that's how. I actually think it wouldn't have been good for Canelo's uh, credibility because people already say Canelo gets gift decisions. Right, if he had got this decision against Bivol, I don't think it would have been good for his legacy. I, I think it's, it's great that he didn't get the decision, because I think Canelo's fights would have been would have been tarred with a brush that he's fixed. He gets gift decisions. There's no point of even fighting him if it goes to decision because he's not. You're not going to win. So, what happened there with the decision going in against Canelo? Even though I think the, the scorecards were BS, I think the scorecards were rubbish. Right. It's very good for boxing and it's very good for Canelo because if Canelo had got that decision, I think there would have been a question mark and conspiracy theories around Canelo fights. Um, people would have brought up all sorts about his, you know, it would have affected his legacy. You know, I remember Barry Jones when he was on Seconds Out actually watching along, you know, doing a, a live watch along when Canelo was fighting Bivol. And he said, I hope he doesn't get this decision because it's going to hurt Canelo's legacy. It would have hurt Canelo's legacy because people are going to say that this is this is BS, this is rubbish. You know, this is a guy that's just getting gift decisions. He's just getting like there's no point of even fighting him. You're not going to beat him, even if you beat him. Like Teddy Atlas said, you, you know, you beat him every round and get a split decision. Now I ain't going to go as far as saying Bivol beat him every round. I think people are exaggerating a little bit, but it was quite a sound win. You know, Canelo probably won three, four rounds max. He didn't win five rounds in that fight, not even close. You know, you can make more of a case of 10-2 than you can make of 7-5. You know, it, it was a quite conclusive win for Bivol. 
But I'm just happy that the right man got the decision because I, I'm telling you, that would have been a massive dent on Canelo's legacy and a massive dent on the sport. Because people, in my opinion, when it's a fight of this magnitude and it's, it's the biggest star in the sport fighting, I think a, contro a controversy like this, there's a lot of eyes on it. People will just say, this is, this is BS. This is rubbish. You know, a lot of people will start saying that the fight, these fights are fixed when they're not. People will, st will start blaming corruption, all sorts. So it's, it's good. It's really good that the, the right decision, the right man got his hand raised, even though the scorecards for me were too close. They were too close. I understand boxing is subjective. I understand people have their own decisions and their own thoughts on how they see a fight. But at the end of the day, it seems to me Canelo fights always seem to be heavily in favour of him when other people see it a different way. You know, the Golovkin fight, he got a draw in that fight, the first fight, when it was clear that a lot of people thought Golovkin won the fight. Some, A lot of people had the second fight, uh, a draw, or even some people had Golovkin winning, but I personally think Canelo deserved to win that one. Uh, Teddy Atlas was somebody that thought Canelo lost both Golovkin fights. Um, but yeah, I, I just think that with all the stuff going on in, in boxing and the, and the judging and the scoring, I think we need to get, I think the judges in that need to get these things right. Because what you got to realise is there's a lot of people watching this. I remember the Cattrall-Taylor fight. That was, a, that was a bunch of rubbish. In the sense that my, me and my dad were watching that. My dad was like, oh, that, 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 that can't be right. That can't be right. That can't be right. You know, and, and there's a lot of people that, like, maybe not huge boxing fans like we are. Um, that are just watching the sport casually. You know, that are not huge boxing fans that watch, that watch something like that. And then they see one guy battering the other guy, but then the other guy gets the decision. What happens is, is that their, their perception of the sport becomes like this sport is uh, fixed or this sport is corrupt. There's corruption in this sport. You know, do, do you see what I mean? I remember when my friend came over and he's a casual. He was watching, we were watching Manny Pacquiao and Thurman together. And he was like, it, that got called a split decision. And he was like, what were they watching? That wasn't a split decision. That was unanimous. Pacquiao won that. Even though that was a close fight. But imagine that wasn't that big of a, of a robbery or bad scoring. And he had, that kind of, he had that kind of opinion about it. Now, you imagine if, if he had seen something like Taylor and Cattrall. Imagine what his opinion would have been about it. So these decisions need to be made correctly. You know, there's a lot of people, and then most importantly, the boxers' lives are depending on this. Like Jack Cattrall's life would have been changed if he had got the look. If he had got the decision and that fight had gone in his favour, his whole life changes. He's an undisputed champion. His whole career and his life is is completely different now. His purse for his next fight is is massive. Don't get me wrong; he benefited from the controversy and he ben benefited from it. But I'm pretty sure he didn't doesn't care that he's be might be benefiting financially from the 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 outcry that there was from that um from that um you know th from basically the judges calling it the way they called it he wanted to win the fight and he wanted to be undisputed because that would have been sweeter than anything at the end of the day he would have become an undisputed world champion he's never probably going to get that opportunity again so you're robbing people of their dreams you're robbing people of opportunities you're robbing people of their rights because bivol earned that fight and look he may not care that it was 7-5 because at the end of the day, Bivol won. But imagine if, if they had given it a draw. Imagine if they had given it Canelo. You know, for me, that would have just, like, I, I only, I, I'm, I'm so glad that they didn't. I'm so glad that Bivol got the decision because people would have had a big question mark around Canelo fights then. Because basically it would have just been like, you can't beat this guy. You can't beat this guy. Even if, if you beat him, you're not going to get the decision. You have to knock him out. Because a lot, of pe like, a lot of people were saying that prior to the fight. You know, how many people have said that about Canelo fights? Well, you're not going to get the decision. So there's, people have already got that perception about Canelo fights. They've already got that perception about Canelo that you're not going to get the fight. That hurts his legacy. That hurts his credibility. That hurts him as a fighter. Because in years to come, when he's gone, people will say, well, he got a lot of gift decisions. He got a lot of things that went in his favor. Canelo, does, Canelo shouldn't be remembered like that. But if that fight had gone in his favour or it had been called a draw, it, it would have been remembered like that. You know, he would be remembered 
by some like that. So it's good that he didn't get the decision because he did lose the fight. And now it gives him an opportunity to come back and avenge that loss. And that's what we as boxing fans want to see. Also, if he got a draw, right, I still think Canelo's a competitor. He would come back and look to, you know, rematch Bivol. But if, if, he, if he got a draw, he may have said, you know what, this ain't my division. I've got a draw. I'll just walk away and go back to my division. This way, he's lost the fight. So now he probably wants to go back and avenge that loss. Where if, if they're giving it a draw, and this is what I mean, like, for me, Bivol has changed his life. Bivol's life has been changed as a result of this. And rightfully so, because he deserved to win the fight. So this is the, this is the whole point about boxing, is when you're fighting a superstar, and if you beat a superstar, your life changes. Bivol's life now, moving forward, is going to be different. He's going to be massive in his country. And he's going to be huge, even in America. He just beat Canelo. So, for me, I think, uh, I think the right thing happened. The right thing happened. And it's so, I'm so glad that Bivol didn't get, you know, robbed on the scorecards. Because that would have been terrible for the sport. Would have been terrible for Canelo. Would have been terrible for Bivol. And would have been terrible for the fans, you know, who would have probably lost faith in, in, in boxing, lost faith in the judges that these guys are not scoring fights properly. But I'm so glad that the right call was made. But leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comment section below uh, about that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.